Hello and welcome. Hi viewers. In this video we will learn a uh, beginning of Microsoft Word. Like uh, we will be discussing some uh, features of Microsoft Word for the beginners who have no idea about Word and we will learn the basics of Microsoft Word. So what is uh, its overview, its uh, how it is used and where it is used and so uh, layouts uh, its tabs multiple things we will we'll be learning in this video so first of all uh, we will discuss the layout since you can see that it's a microsoft word layout and when you open a microsoft document then you can see your own overview like this so you can see multiple tabs like file home insert fish layout references mailings review and view and if i click on alt key then you can see that all these tabs initials are highlighted the letters of file tab is uh, just highlighted with the letter f and the home tab is highlighted with the letter h likewise insert with letter n and each and every tab has its own unique tab letter caption which you can use for opening that specific menu like if I would like to like if I again press an escape key then you can see that all these uh, captions letters have been unhighlighted and when I click the alt key then all the caption letters are highlighted so if I want to uh, open the file menu so I will just press the F key on my keyboard and I want when I press it then you can see that it the pop-up menu and you can see different options like the one I, we can select from here so if uh, we want to click the new option right from here then you can see that uh, a different layout can be seen like uh, available templates and there are you know blank document block spot recent templates multiple options are there and this is an online office.com templates you can search uh, the website office.com for the templates you want to uh, view like uh, if I click on the themes right from here then it can there's no currently no content available for themes but if I select invoices, then there are multiple, you know, templates can be are available on the website of office.com for invoices. Likewise, if uh, I would like to see the letters templates on office.com, so I can see multiple templates are there. But here in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a blank, blank document so I'm going to select and click on this option and when I click on it then you can see that I can see a white blank document so here viewers uh, we will discuss some features of uh, home tab like we will discuss some font styles and coloring and features of uh, something like uh, font size, font colors, background colors, like that. So if I type some text over here, like I type hello, how are you doing? I've been calling for you, calling to you since yesterday but could not get through to it so I am leaving a message for you so contact me as soon as you read this message so I have just uh, uh, written some lines and now I'm gonna 
tell you how to apply the font style features on this text like if I select this sentence and I click on this font so if I change the fonts face from here and you can see that the changes can be seen as I am you know dragging my mouse dragging it down so there are multiple fonts are available so you can choose and select of your own choice but here I would like to use this one the Britannica Britannic bold and if I want to increase the font size I can just click you can see the font shortcut keys that are as available like uh, for selecting font size you can press ctrl shift p and for selecting the font face uh, you can select the ctrl shift f so from here I can you know enlarge the font size and you know increase and decrease the font style so you can choose your own style your own font size so here I'm gonna select 18 and I want to color it with a, a red one and highlight it with a yellow color so viewers you can see that the changes can be uh, changes can be applied right from here to the font in the font from the font section and if you want to clear the formatting you can always select the text and you can you know always you can always clear the formatting right from here and if I click this button this uh, text and if I click the bold option you can see that it can bold the text like this way and if I click the I the italic control plus I it basically italicize the selected text so when I click it so you can see the effect on it and when I click on the control U underline button then it can always underline the selected text so multiple options are here you can apply of your own choice and if you click this strike through you can always if you want to you can always select it and apply it on your text and if you want it uh, to show it, it is basically a subscript and you can apply it with the shortcut key control plus equal to sign create small letters below the text baseline and if you click on this option it is a super subscript and it can be applied with the shortcut key control plus shift plus plus key and it creates small letters above the line of the text when I click it it, it can create small letters above the line of the text and could create the letters below the text baseline so you can see that we can apply different formatting and if I click some lines like uh, I'm hungry and want to take a break so if I want to enlarge its size I can go to the font size option and select from here and can enlarge the text now viewers you can see that this is the formatting I have applied to this text hello to hello how are you doing you can see a different font face of Britannic bold and with red color and yellow highlighted text background color it's a text highlighted color so I'm going to apply the same formatting of the font right over here to this text so how it is done let's see first I will select this I actually would like to uh, increase the size so that you can have a better view of it okay now I'm gonna select the whole I can it's up to me whether I can select a bit of it any single character single letter or I, I can either select the whole text but I, if I just select a single text like this so you can see that it is basically uh, selected uh, the font with its uh, highlighted color yellow and the font face as well which is the Britannic bold but over here if you see it's a calibre body and the font size is 26 but 
when I click on this and press the format painter like this. First, uh, we will read the definition of format painter. Basically, it copy formatting from one place and apply it to the another. So I am gonna copy the formatting of this red font color with a yellow highlight color and Britannic board with the font size 20. So I have selected this and just click on this. I'm just clicking on it. And you can just read it uh, below that copy formatting from one place and apply it to the another. Double click this button to apply the same formatting to multiple places in the document. So I, when I just click on it and you now you can see the cursor uh, shape it looks like this. And just drag it to the complete text like this. Then viewers you can see that the magic happens and the same formatting has been applied to this text as well. So that's all for today and thanks for watching.